back to another episode less to how to survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen guys i'm cf and fantastic day hope the most amazing friday today we got a raid in store we're gonna go and try to make some chop upgrades happen at the gas station and we got something very interesting to go ahead and take a look at right here and right now boom what we're gonna be taking a look at is actually something that I think pretty much confirms the fact that there is more to this Christmas update than what we have gotten so far. As you guys know, the Christmas update has given us the ability to snowmobile in that like little racing section thingy, my bob. Well, I don't believe that that is it. And there's a couple of very big reasons for that that we're going to be going over. The big one is what you guys are seeing right now on your screen. This is an image of what appears to be a Santa slash Christmas themed zombie, a frozen zombie from the north in the northern zone with a christmas crate in the northern zone i've been doing some research maybe i just didn't get lucky i did not find any of those christmas crates that we are seeing in the winter zone but the big thing that i didn't find was that frozen zombie in the santa outfit because how the christmas update has worked so far is that all of the normal zones the pine woods the rock zones etc etc all of them have their uh floater bloaters actually being reskinned into their christmas counterparts the guzzlers i believe that they are called the toxic abominations are staying totally normal but the guzzlers have been reskinned for the floater bloaters but if you travel up north the frozen bloaters have not been touched at all and from what we're seeing at this image that appears to be a completely reskinned frozen bloater so why would kafir reskin the frozen bloater for literally no reason that is because it is yet to come and there is more than meets the eye and another thing that backs this up is the fact that in the past we have seen multiple multi-stage holiday events and the reason that this christmas event is primed to be a multi-stage one is the fact that it started so early we got our first taste of the snowmobiles and whatnot pretty much in the very early end of december for the most part holiday events have lasted for right around two weeks of pop so for us to only be able to snowmobile as the kind of special effect along with the christmas tree for like three entire weeks over three weeks until christmas hits plus then the event usually lasts a little bit after that too so so probably for a total of four weeks that just does not make sense and given the fact that it is such a long period that actually makes it prime territory for there to be another stage and i believe that is where this is going to be coming into play now whether that means that the north will have these crates and these zombies reskinned or another thing that i think might also be very possible is that there will be a new type of event coming similar to the snowmobile event that will pop up on the map or whatnot and there will be these types of reskinned zombies over there potentially this could be the boss the holiday boss that will come and show himself once the holiday season and christmas gets a wee bit closer so for now i think we're just kind of getting that early taste of the update with the snowmobiling and then there is more to come later because this image like i'm saying is very telling about that fact because we have not seen a fella like this that looks so frozen so just a little thing that i want to go ahead and make note of and I'm very excited to see what ends up coming with this. Because if you guys go ahead and take a look at this image right here, you can see that this same Zambi is kind of in the center of everybody. Now, we have the reskinned elves. We have the reskinned floater bloaters as guzzlers. But there are multiples of those. There's only one of this Santa zombie that we are seeing. So will it be a reskinned frozen bloater from the north? Or, and this is where it kind of ties back into that event, will this be some sort of a boss a special zombie? Be closer to christmas and the reason that that makes sense is well he's the only one in a santa claus outfit could we be fighting a santa claus zombie boss for this event and from what we are seeing a couple of these signs pointing towards it and what we've seen from kafir in the past with how events are handled i dundinly do believe such a thing may very well be in the works but that is the information that i got for today that i want to go ahead and share with y'all but go and let me know what you guys think regarding sorry about the burp there regarding this kind of like whole second oh sorry about the burp yet again the second potential stage to the christmas holidays like i'm saying i think there's a lot of signs pointing to it maybe you guys have noticed something that i necessarily haven't noticed in which case please go ahead and point that out so we can compile as much information as we can to be as educated 
about the future of last day and what is to come in the rest of this potentially wonderful holiday event so i'm definitely looking forward to that so go and let me know in that comment section down below and reminder that comments which are one third of the way it's the way to have dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe that will you what on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that's we will for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. And guess what? It's Saturday, boys and girls. So a little bit later today, we're gonna be down to the winner. And the new giveaway has already kicked off. So go and get the entries in. Y'all can enter in, like I'm saying, on every single video leading up to next Saturday. And then when Saturday rolls around, we'll do exactly what we did today. Pick a random video, pick a random comment, rinse and repeat, baby. But for now, we're just trying to go and pick up some relatively decent loot. And I'm gonna actually pick up a good amount of boots because my swap boots are currently very broken compared to the rest of my armor. So we're gonna have like three pairs of really used boots that we're just gonna cycle through but like i'm saying can't wait to reach y'all gotta say best of luck in that giveaway and reminder to have that notification bell hit as well because that's gonna be very useful it's a great way to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of the last day on earth information such as that which we are sharing today not to mention more info as it comes out and breaking down the information as it does come not to mention as soon as the updates come out about the information that we're always talking about we always gonna be first on the scene when it comes down to it covering everything that we can about the update all that it's added and checking out everything that there is to check out and of course having a fan freaking fantastic time all throughout not to mention notification bells a great way to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway head of course all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well but if you guys don't have anything to say about this potential interesting stuff over here with the christmas updates yeah and this is second phase that's a brew and if y'all don't have anything to chime in on that hey chime in and let me know how that weekend of yours is going today is saturday december has kicked off holiday cheer is in the air hopefully you guys christmas trees are getting hung if you do celebrate if not hopefully uh if whatever you do celebrate hopefully the celebrations are going awesome and if you don't celebrate anything uh hopefully you've gotten some snow days got some time off school uh got to sled a little bit i don't know man whatever it might be that brings some cheer or brings some joy your way any and all that type of jazz i'd love to hear about like i'm saying in that comment section down below and if you guys might have anything else i'd actually love to hear any questions you guys might have because i am going to be doing a little bit of a q a for the upcoming 600,000 subscriber special again huge thank you guys for being such a huge part in our journey to passing such an insane milestone on monday there should be a bit of an official video going up and talking about it and hopefully doing that whole q a and stuff amongst other things i just want the q a to kind of be a part of it but uh, if you guys have any questions as well that could be your guys's entry for today's video you should you choose any questions you might have for me and those could be questions about anything we'll be picking some of those answering them and having a fan for a fantastic time showcasing them on the video etc etc and a huge announcement is coming on monday as well during that video that i think i've seen a lot of you guys asking about this actually recently and it's it's been it i've been working on this like for such a long time man but i've been working with some really great people i i don't want to spoil anything about it i'm trying to be very vague but just long story short monday stay tuned that special video pop in there's gonna be something awesome and i'm so excited to freaking announce it man it's gonna be absolutely wicked so all in all as you guys can tell from the probably i well you can't really tell the smile from my voice maybe you can i don't know maybe you can hear my smile <laughs> but so there's a giant smile on my face and i'm just excited so like i'm saying hopefully you guys are having an exciting and fan for fantastic weekend that only gets more fan for fantastic from here on out and I'd love to hear about it. And, well, on the other hand, though, I'm having a little bit of a not so fan freaking fantastic weekend. It's like a half and half, you know? On one half, well, we got a whole... Obviously, we're playing some Last Day on Earth here. Having some fun. Shooting some zombies. About to be going on a good raid. And, of course, we are scheming up that huge, awesome thing for Monday. Celebrating 600k to an extent. It's just going to be a fun time through and through. But, uh, on the other hand, finals week is here, guys. In one week, I will officially 
be free from this semester of school. I can't believe these words are coming out from my mouth. I don't know if you guys have been keeping up. I don't know if I've been really talking about it a lot, but this has just been a really hard semester for me. I've been had, taking a lot of ridiculously hard classes. Definitely my hardest semester so far, including like the hardest, the single hardest course in like my entire like department, which was like computer science. I'm uh, majoring in computer science over here at my college. It's currently junior year and I have to take uh, pretty much this required class that is universally known as the hardest class throughout the entire uh, major and it has been a struggle and a half but to think that it's almost over is just absolutely ridiculous here you guys can also see we're trading in some of these extra chopper gas tanks we have i know it's so strange to say that we got extras but we do and hopefully you will be able to have if you don't already get some choppers going your way with that chopper gas tank and then visiting over here in the good old jane the mechanic and being able to get some awesome stuff from her and speaking of which check out these awesome blueprints that we are getting let's go ahead and continue collecting we want to pop these open a wee bit at a time and you can see that since we have maxed out our off-road bike we're getting all of these oh i may have opened van too many unfortunately oh no it went straight to the mechanics box we got some more police bikes beautiful man we're just kind of working our way up towards those next tiers of upgrades and Things are coming up, Millhouse, our military motorcycles almost halfway upgraded, and our police bike is, I think, halfway to level three, which may or may not be the max level for it. And once our police bike is maxed out, we can't get police bike blueprints anymore. So then our military bike will be getting upgraded even faster after that. So it's just kind of like this cause and effect relationship that's gonna end up going very, very well for us. But with us having conquered what we needed to conquer here at the gas station, I will pass on the rest of it for now because we got a little bit of a raid to go and to get excited about and i do want to get this video out to y'all on the asap i'm sorry that it's going up a little bit on the later side today has been a very busy homework day because i have a lot of homework due kind of like the very last bits of homework finally kind of like rolling around they're all due like tomorrow so i've been working a lot probably gonna be staying up a good amount into the night trying to get all that stuff done so cross your fingers for me lads and lassies and i promise i'll be crossing my fingers for y'all that yo day is fan for contestant and only gets more fan for contestant from here on out but i just it's just so nice to think that i'm almost done with this semester then winter break will come and hopefully many many more videos and some very interesting ones too i'm scheming i got some interesting stuff up my sleeve beginning of course with that very special video going up on the monday but i need to go ahead and put some stuff away and we got a raid we gotta go ahead and partake in so let's talk to y'all and it's like, and without further ado, let's set out. And after having crafted up the necessary tools we're gonna need for today's raid, go and commence in today's shenanigans. But for real, today we are having some great shenanigans because after having breaking, breaking, broken, I think broken is the word I'm looking for, broken down that info about the holiday update from a couple of those images, dude. There's definitely something interesting up Kafir's sleeve, which is good to hear because as much as as much as interesting as the snow mobile event is ah, there, there's gotta be more than that man because the snowmobile event like it's not like it even changes it's always the same track and i'm not gonna lie the rewards are kind of meh i've definitely gotten better rewards in my time but i'm not complaining relatively free stuff is relatively free we also got the christmas tree which we are capitalizing upon but it is good to it's just good to notice those types of things and know that all right there are indeed what appears to be more things in roots because i'm a man who loves things in case you guys haven't known i absolutely love whenever new stuff is coming to last they honestly whenever new stuff is coming to any game that we play because new things are always the funnest of things but for real man it's just so great to almost be done with the semester and hopefully you guys are coming up close to those of you guys going to school coming up close to finishing out the semester best of luck on the last of your tests and whatnot in case you guys are partaking in such things because usually the final season is pretty much going to be rolling around at this point in time. So hopefully you guys are ready to absolutely knock that out. Absolutely ace whatever y'all got in the hole. And hello, it appears that we got an ace in our hole because we've broken into the good part of this lad's base. And it appears that this raid is going to be a raid that doesn't cost us any C4. So that's good for my C4 wallet. I was not able to bolster it any further than we were before. 
our C4 supply is still at two. Hopefully that will be going up relatively soon though. Let's go ahead and see what we can't get from a couple of let's freaking go that's what i like to see we're getting good things we're also getting some very angry zombies we gotta go and take down here hello fast biters goodbye fast biters eat mine silence the bullets my friends you too mr flota blota eat all of it jess jess okay go ahead and get to munch in there big boy Oh, you want some too? No worries, no worries. Oh, you want a little bit of shotgun rain? Of course you do, my friend. Who doesn't want some shotgun rain in their lives? Ain't nothing as fan freaking fantastic as that, but already we got some semi-decent things coming our way from here, and hopefully the things only get more decent. Maybe we'll go up to like three quarters decent instead of just semi-decent, you know? I think semi is like half, right? Hey, you know, the AK. That one might have been the AK that I left as raider baits, though, to try and get this revenge raid in the first place. But, oh, my, my. Do, are we raiding Bugs Bunny? <laughs> Dude, this man's got carrots up the wazoo. Hot dog. Well, he's still, he's also got some other things like some hard leather and whatnot. Blah. Some hard leather and whatnot that we might be able to take. I don't know why that was randomly a tongue twister. I guess it was. Dude, honestly, I feel like any sentence has like a 50-50% chance of like being a tongue twister for me. My tongue is just naturally want... My tongue just naturally wants to be twisted, all right? My tongue is playing an eternal game of twister. And I can't do nothing about it except play along and try to pronounce words properly. Tis a struggle. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Come this way. Let me start finishing y'all off there. They're going to start getting a little bit closer to me. Oh, no. I'm getting mugged in a back alley. Well, it's all right. We got some shock rain to help unmug us from this alley. Ooh. We sent that dude's body parts in every which direction. Bye-bye, my friend. And let's go and see what we got in the rest of these chests. Because this one was, yeah, nothing too amazing. It was kind of like, okay, you know. Not like super okay, but like kind of okay, you know. Yeah, you know. Let's go and see what we got. We got three more chests to bust into here. And, hey, this chest actually had some semi-decent stuff. Shouts out to you, Mr. Chest. I appreciate you playing along and uh, giving me the goods, giving me the loot. And, ooh, actually got a couple of hatchets and whatnot. I might actually steal some hatchets and just save them up for the next raid because we're not finding a lot of, like, ridiculously amazing stuff. Shotgun rain to you, kind sir. And, oh, bless up, bless up that there were spikes over here that a lot of these guys got hit on because that means the fast biters that normally have 80 health are down to 70 which is perfect because we have our uh the version of our shotgun with the mods where it does 77 damage but maximizes our critical chance and critical damage there is a second configuration i run sometimes where it does 80 damage on the dot but it isn't as effective when it comes to criticals just because it has like a smaller chance and uh slightly less damage i think but Hey, it kind of buffed out, man. This raid went very well. Uh, silence pistol broke, so that frees up another slot for us to take stuff within there. Uh, some phones. That could definitely go pretty well for us. Let's continue seeing that. Just, that's just a whole bunch of brick, bruh. Whole bunch of brick, bruh. Uh, we got a couple. I think we're going to try to break into these and see if maybe these got anything. Yeah, I don't think that they got anything. Just a little bit of a hunch right there. Yeah, I think my hunch was correct mundo. Uh, we'll go ahead and go through the rest of those boxes and whatnot. But first things first, let's put the valuables away where they belong. Within the back of our chopper. Because, well, actually, no. This is a revenge raid. So they're not going to be asking for their fair share. So I guess it's not a huge deal. What we put away. But let's just make sure that we're putting away, like, semi-decent stuff, I guess. You know, worst case, like, in case we die when the big one pops up. We just, uh, we, we got some stuff over here that we could safely call our own. And we have an entire inventory to fill up with loot. So we got to go ahead and get to looting without further ado. And then after this raid, I think it would be prime time to announce the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Nothing better than coming off the fan freaking fantastic time known as, well, breaking into some dude's base and taking his stuff. And hey, hello, Oak Plank. I don't think I noticed that Oak Plank the first time. I think I just kind of like looked over here and my eye did not catch the fact that I was in that super bottom corner. Uh, but I think I will be taking some of those. Might as well take like a stack of wood. I think he had like, I'm just going to start picking stuff up. I'm eating your beans, by the way, too, bro. Hope that's cool. Uh, we're still going to break through a couple of his other things that he has. Don't worry. He still has other things that I would like to break into, like the wood working benches that might have some stuff. But I'm just trying to fill up my inventory with other things first and foremost. 
And unfortunately, the workbenches didn't have anything for us. Uh, these? Uh, I, like, I know they had a couple more things. Is there anything? Uh, eh, anything? Definitely the wrenches. We could, worst case scenario, trade those over at the gas station. Probably fill up on a couple of these. Never bad to have leather at your disposal. Might as well grab a couple of the med kits, too. Eh, yeah, yeah, four medicates is pretty good, at least compared to, like, some of the other stuff we're fine. I'm eating some of your carrots, dude, by the way. I need some, like, vitamin carrot up in me. Hope that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else that I want out of these chests. Like, I could grab some military armor, but this is, like, le all of it's less than half durability. Like, even the shoes. If this was SWAT armor, maybe, but I got a lot of tactical armor saved up. I'm not as intrigued. That's kind of, like, the fallback, usually. But if that was, if that was SWAT. We got a different story on our hands here. Um, all right, then let's go and get the... Uh, honestly, I might just fill up on these and we'll see what else we can get. I'm I'm pretty happy running out of here with this. Let's just go and vegan these up. One chop a pop. And then we got to get out of here. Oh, we'll also try to break into these. See if there's anything good. And if we need to swap anything out, I will just swap out... First things first, I'll swap out the iron hatchet. Uh, but worst case, we could all... I'm honestly pretty cool with swapping out, like, almost anything in our inventory here. Maybe some of the duct tape. Maybe some of the iron plates. Maybe some of the normal iron. Some wood planks. Like, we don't have anything super crazy on us here. So, without further ado, YOLO! Let the intense part of the raid begin because we got a very angry one that happens to be big coming after us right now. No, 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 no. God dang it! Ain't nothing getting dropped in this base. Okay, I'm just trying to get a little bit of separation, and I know that this abomination's coming for us. Okay, he's doing his damage, and I'm doing whoop, 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 whoop. Just trying to get the hell out of there. Oh, mama. This is just a confusing place and a half. Uh, so where's the doghouse at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get this guy stuck in the doghouse. The doghouse works, right? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Booty full. We're gonna need to kill his toxic abomination brethren. After he teleports to us, we're gonna have to heal after he teleports, and then we'll get our stuff going. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Do that damage. I'm gonna go ahead and do your boys dirty and bring them plenty of death and destruction. Okay. I'm not getting, like, any criticals here. I'm not a fan of this. Boop. All right. We took him out. He did a little bit of damage on us. He's gonna teleport to us, and then I'm gonna run like a madman to break open that last bench, and then... Unless something goes horribly wrong, we getting the hell out of Dodge, boys, because Dodge is getting dangerous. Alrighty, the timer is ticking. He is going to be coming after us soon. We just got to make sure, ow, to not die from things. And let's just go and see what we got within here. I'm going to let him hit us one more time. We're going to heal up in a single iron ore. That's a no from me, fam. Let's go and escape the hell out of here. Oh, man, that's why I'm walking so slow. I ain't got no booties. Well, that's all right. Even when we slow, we can still outrun that fella known as the big one. And now the question is, oh, baby, we got an airdrop that we want to go ahead and make a drive to. So let's do exactly that. And while we're doing that, let's announce the winner of this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Huge congrats to the randomly chosen video where we constructed our Christmas tree and got our first batch of presents, not to mention went on a loaded Christmas-themed hacker raid. And huge congrats to the randomly chosen comment, on the limb saying Papa Star, I was so lucky I opened up one of those big Santa crates and I got the wooden figure and a holly, which you needed one of. I also only used three machetes, which I got from chests, so I used none of my things. Bond limb, awesome to hear that you had such great luck constructing your tree. Best of luck to everyone else, by the way, constructing your tree if that's not already built and you guys are gaining some of those daily presents. The Yule log, by the way, which is awesome, which increases your haul of uh, chopping trees down. And that's really good for when you're chopping down oak trees, by the way. I think like you get a U log every single day. But long story short, Bond Lim, congrats on also being lucky enough to go ahead and win this past week's $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Go ahead and reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below. Let me know the best Let's freaking go! We got some really great luck coming our way too, but letting me know the absolute best way to go ahead and privately get in touch with you so I could go ahead and, uh, well, get you that code because I can't just reply to your comment and give you a code because everyone can read that comment. So let me know the best way to privately get in touch with you, maybe like via email or something, for example, so I can go ahead and get that underway. And to everyone else, best of luck in the brand new $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway kicking off today. 
and can't wait to hear about your weekend's adventures, what awesome things you got in store, how great it has been so far, and hopefully how much better it will only get from here on out. I'm looking forward to every single one of those such jazzes. Not to mention, for real, man, I can't wait to hear what you guys got to say about that, uh, whatchamacallit, the second phase, this supposed second phase that's a lurking for the Christmas event. Yeah, baby. Oh, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty wonderful phase without saying, but let's go ahead. Let's get out of this airdrop and let's make one last pit stop over here at a place known as home because we've yet to pop open the Christmas tree for today, bro. And that's what we got to do. And that's what we gonna do. And ooh, maybe we could end things off with like one snowmobile race. See if we got it. See if we can't get a first try W. I'm going to try my best. But for now, let's hop off that chopper right over there. We're also back up to four skulls, the best place to be. And what is under the Christmas tree? What you know? There's that Yule log I was talking about. And that's what I'm saying. Increases the amount of produced tree for 10 minutes. Any tree that you chop down will give you more than ever before for those 10 minutes after you eat a Yule log. And why is that good? Well, oak trees. Those happen. I, I'm like 90. I'm no oak treeologist here. But I'm like 99.999999% sure that an oak tree does qualify as a tree. Don't quote me on this. Don't quote me on this, right? I, I don't want to be angering some tree expert who's like uh the oak tree is actually a a mushroom you know like with from some kind of like weird scientific paper that proves it's somewhere out in the universe <laughs> but uh yeah it's just really awesome because it does help increase your oak yield by a lot and oak of course is very important because that's how you level up your base to the stone walls and stone walls are the best way to keep yourself protected. So let's go ahead and hop on these snowmobiles and try to catch us that W on our first try. Without further ado, boys, wish me some luck. I'll be wishing my luck for you guys. Oh, don't be driving into me. Don't be driving into me there. Freaking snowmobile guy. Oh, don't cut me off. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, cut me off a little bit. Freaking. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, beautiful. He did not do that turn well, and these guys are like driving into each other, and oy vey! They're hitting each other very well. Now the question is, where are the zombies, and when are they gonna run out in front of me to try and screw us over? Because that is what the zombies do best. Because I ain't screwing myself over. I'm done screwing myself over. I already did that a little bit at the beginning, because, uh, well, I drove into a wall. I'm, I'm gonna blame the other snowmobile, though. They did drive into me, and that's 100% what caused the problem. Nothing else. Definitely not me, just kidding. It was probably me a little bit, but as you guys can see, now that we're back on track, this track is nowhere close to getting derailed. Except, like I'm saying, when that zombie pops up and acts like a giant, like, brick wall. Because these zombies, man, I don't know what happened. A couple days ago, they were they were just totally normal. You'd run them over, no, no problem. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Then, like, one day, I started, like, hitting the zombies my snowmobile came to a stop and it's been coming to a stop ever since like you don't just plow through them anymore they plow through you and that's a scary thought but it does not appear that any of them are gonna interfere today which is wonderful news for a lad like me because we got a breakaway victory is start playing our victory song hey. I don't know. I, I, we don't want to play too much here. Don't want YouTube datas with them copyright strikes be like, ah, oh, that's that's too close to the actual song. Start, start, your channel's going under. I'd be like, dear mama, have mercy. But we're going to go ahead. I'm probably just going to continue doing a couple of those laps in my free time. But as you guys saw, we absolutely blew away the competition. Like, check it out. How far in the dust did we leave these schmucks? Oh my god, there's like one guy over here. He's I, this guy. He was starting to like turn away He was starting to race the other way. He just gave up and this guy He's he's like parallel parking or something. God knows what he's up to But with that said with that done, that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day on earth survival Best luck to you guys and gals in that new weekly $25 iTunes search play store gift card giveaway Like I did say winner this past week's giveaway reply to that pin comment letting me know the best way to get in touch with you and speaking of replies to comments can't wait to hear yo guys' comments in that comment section down below about your thoughts around the second phase of christmas that's a lurking with that santa zombie that appears to be rather unique and that i cannot wait to meet 
with my friend known as Shotgun Rain. And hopefully take some of these huskies home, man. I want these huskies for myself. Can we do something to claim a husky pup? Please, kefir, please. I'm crossing my fingers, man. And hopefully you guys will cross your fingers a little bit for me with this upcoming finals week, like I was saying, and just in general, a tough time, because I'm always crossing my fingers for y'all to have nothing but the most fan for fantastic times and fan for fantastic of days. But best of luck to you guys and gals. Again, the Chopper Gas Tank and joining the Chopper Squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Again, the true friend perk. Leveling up your own perks and skills, not to mention find the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses the game has to throw at you, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely favorite fantastic time all throughout. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.